Why, hell. Oh, I'm Sharon Needles. Tonight, boys and ghouls, and anyone in between, we're gonna blow the dust off some old VHS. We're gonna be taking a look at some of the horror films that may have been neglected. Welcome to Horoscope. Tonight's film, we're going to examine the very first horror movie I ever saw. Picture it. Me, my older brother, staying up late on a Saturday night to watch Sleepaway Camp Part 2, Unhappy Campers. Who doesn't love a campy horror movie? Especially one about camping. This is the sequel to the cult hit Sleepaway Camp. And if you remember correctly, it starred a transsexual teenager who wreaked havoc on her bullying fellow campers. Let's face it, kids, transitioning is a bitch. I mean, who can forget the last scene of that film? A 13-year-old boy with a giant penis with a huge smile holding off the chopped off head of a fellow camper. Now that's a scene you don't forget. Was that kitty point? Sleepaway Camp Part 2 picks up where the last one left off. Only this time, Angela's not a camper, she's a counselor. Rules are rules, and rules were meant to be followed. This film pulls out all the stops. There are just so many interesting ways to kill somebody. Take the Shoat Sisters, or should we call them the Shit Sisters? Why? Because they're always shit-faced. What better way than to kill identical twins than to tie them up, toss them on the grill, cover them in gasoline, and watch the fun begin? Anyone hungry? Hey, someone passed the A1. But there's more gore than just that. The most iconic scene is the death scene for the bitch slut alley. Angela forces her into a unused, fly-ridden porta potty Angela asks her, what's down there? She proclaims, piss. Angela says, the way you pissed away your goddamn given town. She asks her, what else is down there, alley? And she says, shit. Angela says, shit. One of your favorite words. Mind if I borrow it for a moment? You've been a shitty friend and a shitty camper. What else is down there, Allie? She doesn't know. So what does Angela do? Forces her in to find out. That's right, leeches for a leech-like Allie. Don't fuck with this transsexual camp counselor. You might get more than you bargained for. Hey, the lucky ones die early. Some of my favorite lines of this film are, speak of the devil, look who's on TV. She's not staring at your breasts. She's staring at that long black hair growing out of your left nipple. One, I heard she's dead. And two, I heard she plays the dark haired girl on the facts of life. Oh, what do you have back there, Angela? A gun? No, a drill. If you love Sleepaway Camp Part 2, you're gonna hate Sleepaway Camp Part 3. It's terrifying. It's gruesome. It's about two hours too long. From guitar strangulations to drowning in a porta potty to having your head chopped off and shoved in a television set, to be beaten by a law, to being drilled right in the face, this movie has it all. You know, transsexuals really get a bad rap in horror movies. Now remember for all you transitioning gals out there, make sure to read the proper instructions on your horror moms. And remember kids, every day is Halloween. <laughs>